countless voices drone in the background noise of the Klagon hive mind, as they have for millennia over the surface of Koldon. The grunts of a worker, an infant's wail for nourishment, an elder's last breath, all shared as one, driven by a single purpose, to ensure the future of the hive. Now the Klakons swarm towards the stars. Their nature is as relentless as it is simple. To devour, to consume, to thrive. Hello, I'm Mal, and welcome to my uh, new Let's Play of the uh, Klaxon in Master of Orion, Conquest of the Stars, Early Access. Now this Let's Play is actually uh, post what they're calling Phase 2 of the Early Access, so not only do we have access to this new race, I'm also playing against the other new races that are available, which is the alternate Terran, the warlike uh, Terran Empire, and then also the Mechlar will be featured in this Let's Play as well. Alright, so let's take a look at our starting stuff. Okay, so it is medium-sized Terran. We start uh, Mineral Industrial at Poor. We do have Seagrass, which is nice, so extra growth. Um, if you missed my update video um, about Phase 2, here's one of the new features. You can manage your structures directly now. Used to, you had to, like, move the globe around and, like, select something if you wanted to maybe get rid of it or what have you. Now you've got this nice little list that you can use, which is a huge help. Happy about that. Okay, let's see. We've got a colony ship going. Food is fine. I've got two people on research. I think I'm going to leave them on that. Let me double check. What did I have selected? What enhancement would the hive mind demand from the devisors? <laughs> the guy's super cool looking. Okay, let's see. Uh, yeah, we need automated factory first. We'll have that in eight turns. I'd like to speed that up. Why don't we... Hmm. Six turns, huh? Next population in 103 turns. Wow. That calculation seems a little off. Something seems weird there. <laughs> Put one person on there? I guess because we just get so much per. Yeah, that's why. The bonus food. Okay, well, fair enough. Yeah, we'll go for that. Alright, now let's take a look at our fleet. All right, let's see. You go check out that. This other scout. Go here, since it's yellow. And you can head there. This will benefit the... Fusca, be seek. Hmm. Now... Generally speaking, the Yellow Stars give you the best chances of having a nice world, but this is going to be a small or a medium world. It does have a moon, which is nice, but I'd like to get into a system and sort of establish where there's more planets. We'll stay put for now. Okay, now, what are you working on? Biospheres. How long will that take? Seven turns? Uh, how long is the colony ship? 16? Let's, let's make that the priority, actually. Got in here. I need that early tech. The one that I normally ignore because I don't use... I don't use energy weapons. I, I, I might experiment with them more now that they've enhanced the AI um, in Phase 2. So missiles might not be nearly as effective as they were. Deep Scanner. Updated Deep Scanner technology allows your ship to reveal all planets when arriving at an unknown system. Yeah, that's, that's pretty nice. So I think after... Yeah, after we get Automated Factory, we'll grab that. So instead of having to do this planet-by-planet planet search, you just automatically get them revealed. Useful in the early game. Saves you some time. Okay. Met the Cylons, it looks like. Pleased to meet you. This is the controller of the Cylon Quanta. Nice I to meet you. I am certain we have much to learn from each other. 
Okay, now we will definitely try to be like friends with them if we can if we can. Okay, let's see. Volcanic rich. The maybe. And what about over here? Large swamp abundant. That's that's not bad. And radiated abundant. Okay. That kinda sucks. Uh let's go. This way? Ultra rich, but small. Small desert. Okay, so that's Mintar. No, no reason for us to really go up there. Let's backtrack this way with this scout. And explore this gas planet, okay. And this is looking like our best option here. Large swamp abundant that's close. And I'm losing burning time here on establishing a new colony. Alright, I guess we'll go for that. Now, on Arid and Desert Worlds... Yeah, so actually, this is actually a good planet for us. We can do an Uber transformation here as our racial, if I remember right, and then it becomes a cavernous planet, which I guess just gives us more capacity. I don't know. This is all brand new, so we shall see. Both turns here. Next pop, eight turns. There we go. Physics research done. The hive divisors have completed the improvement of the... Okay, and... Fusca's regretful, most precious. Twelve it turns to get that? Distracted the divisors somehow. See, this should be an earlier attack. Because, okay, so if I go ahead and grab this... Twelve turns, just to get deep scanner... In twelve turns, I'm gonna have all of the systems near me scouted anyway. This becomes... This is not as much value as I thought it would be. I am better off grabbing... Probably government support facility. Yeah. And research. Please, most precious. We love the uh, no life form? What do we got there? Bob the Space Squid? What up, Bob? Is that is that five worlds in a system? That's amazing. And a moon? And another moon? And another moon? Holy moly, this could be like an awesome system. It really could. Uh, matter of fact, I think what we're gonna do... I'm gonna try to take hold of that system by sending our colony ship there. We're, make, we're gonna make a bet that there's something decent there. We'll hope that bet pays off. Volcanic... Sort of meh. Anomaly detected, huh? Okay. What do we got here? Radiated, but red fungus. Inter interesting. Let's go grab that anomaly. Uh, if you're not familiar with what those are, they're these little kind of specials that you can you can pick up, and it might give you. Some money, it could advance your research. Sometimes you can get a ship from it. You get a lot of different things. Large Terran Rich. Bingo. There we go. Nice. I plead for a spec. Huge desert pour with dark quartz. Okay. This is going well for us so far. Okay. Have my compliments, alien. I am the Khan of the Alpha Seti system. Long have my people suffered in the past, but be warned. We will abide no more. Okay. Sounds good, dude. We don't really want to mess with you or anything. I'm actually going to try to play nice with folks until I can establish myself. The anomaly turns out to be a derelict ship. Floating eerily and nice. We got a frigate for that for free. That was awesome. Great. 
Okay, well, so far it's coming up roses for us. It's coming up roses. Okay, you there. Grab that world. You scout that. Let's keep motoring. Please, most precious. All right, here we go. Love the colonization scenes. Awesome. Large Terran Rich. That's, I mean, not getting much better than that. Okay, so let's go for Automated Factory, and then we'll do... We want this built up quick, so... We'll go ahead and grab the food production items. And then we'll grab a Starbase for defense. Yeah, that looks good. What do we got over here? Large Swamp Abundant, right. This one, Desert, Barren. That one's Space, Space Squid Bob, so we can't really mess with that right now. How much? 2,000 strength, huh? That's not too bad. And there's nothing else in here. No other Starlands. Okay, so that means from a strategic standpoint, this system becomes important. Mm-hmm. Because if we can lock this down, that should keep our quote-unquote buddies Cylons sort of at bay. I'm curious to see how many connections this system has. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, we already saw that one, right. Okay, let's split this up. You check out that one. And you check out that one. Research is done. So we could grab Xeno Relations so that we could do some early diplomacy and get our embassies and whatnot set up. I don't know that we need that necessarily. Hmm. Class one shields to get a military upgrade early. I don't think we need that either. Destroyer unlock wouldn't be bad to have though. Let's go ahead and grab that. For the hive. For the hive, that's right. For the hive. Threatening fleet. Now that's just Bob. Bob's not threatening anybody. He's just chilling. This will benefit. Hey, you grew? Great. Drop you on production. That's mineral poor thing kinda kinda sucks. Need to get another planet up and running quick. All right, what do we got here? Huge tundra rich. You don't say. Hmm. Large arid gold. These would both be good for us. Uh huh. Okay, so let's do this. What's coming in? Scout. Okay. Move our other scout back. Where's that frigate at? Yeah, let's move you up here. I'm gonna try to choke off that point up there. To GNN, Galactic News Network. You are tuned to GNN, the only network that tells you what you need to know. Bringing it to you live. Galactic News Network, the galaxy's most reputable news source. All right. Now, do we go ahead and go past? Yeah, let's go past the silence and see if we can check out some of this other area. Okay. Go 
ahead and block that point. What are you doing? What are you doing? Colony ship here? Okay, hold on. Do you... Just colonize that? I'm gonna have to build some combat ships quick, I think. Yeah. The AI, I think, is gonna be more aggressive, too, since we're playing on, uh... Uh, you know, the very hard difficulty or what have you. Dent. Let's go grab this one. The hive divisors have complete. Okay, so let's see. What are we going to grab now? What would the hive mind demand from the divisors? Colonial revenue wouldn't be bad. Speaking of colonial revenue, I need to put this on one BC per turn. Yeah, we don't need people striking on us. We love the Legion. Now we already met them, so we know what's going on there. Yeah, you took that, huh? Large Terran rich with seagrass. Wow. That sucks that he got that from us. Well, and we may not be able to stay friends with them after all. All right, we'll send a scout there. You need to go up here. This point right here, we're going to need to get, uh, we need to get a space factory and put something here as soon as we can. Welcome to GNN. Love has grown in strength. A deficit, deficit of 2 BC per turn, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Are you coming along here? Five turns, okay. And another colony ship? Like, really? You don't have that great of production. Interesting. Got a frigate here, a frigate here. They're already upgraded. Wow. Okay. What kind of bonuses are they giving the AI? <laughs> I wonder. Must be significant. Okay. Yeah, let's go with that. We'll go all production here for a bit. You need orders, huh? Go check that out then. You should tread more carefully. Every action has its consequences. Uh, get your colony ships away from my colonies? Uh, how about no? Get your stupid ships away from my colonies. More like it.
high gravity, huh? Okay, that's all right. I mean, long term, this will be a really good place. So let's see. Let's grab automated factory, biospheres, hydroponic, government facility, missile base. And actually, let's shift this around. We'll put the missile base first. These guys are really aggressive, so I would not be surprised at all if they were to come down here and start some problems. And right now, we have relatively weak defenses. So, matter of fact, gonna get us a space factory. Yeah, let's prioritize that. That way we can put a military outpost here and then have a couple of frigates sitting there. That'll help. But we meet somebody else or just an anomaly. Hmm. There was something there. Medium arid. That's good for us. Actually, let's real quick, let's get rid of you guys, shall we? Oh, you're going to leave? That's probably wise, but I'm not going to let you. There we go and defend that point. Matter of fact. That's Terran, huh? Okay. So Cylons here, Terran's here. I kind of like the fact that they're butted up against each other here. I, I like that quite a bit, actually. Okay, let's just keep exploring. Ocean. Pretty nice system. I could hop the Cylons and go there, maybe. Maybe. And it's always risky when you do that, but it might be worth it. Okay, good. Let's get you up here. What are you? Frigate? Okay. I'll go up here and try and destroy his space factory if I can. Turns for that research lab. Yeah, let's take this out and get his frigate too. I want to go to war. Mmm. Because we're in his territory. If I start this, we'll go to war. Ah. Uh, I mean, we could definitely take him. The problem is. Is it worth it? No, it's it's not. We'll move back on our side. There we go. We'll guard there. Choose production. Okay, let's see. Let's put a couple of guys up here on the old research and let's grab another colony ship actually probably should build some kind of offensive ship so let's go ahead and look at ship design go with destroyer edit this okay, so the base destroyer looks like that that's kind of cool what's the other one look like oh that looks much cooler Look at that. That's pretty awesome. There we go. I like it. 
Okay, let's see. Do we have any specials to it? No, just augmented engines. I don't want that. Okay, first off, get rid of the bombs. We don't want that. And get rid of those as well. How much is it space-wise if I put on fast? Okay, let's grab another set of these. Why are you acting like you can't do it? I know you can do it. One, two, three, four. Hmm. Three fast. I do three and three, maybe. And then some point defense. Ah, it changes the space used now for the facings, as it should. Okay, let's make a point defense. Let's grab, like, I don't know, ten of them. And then maybe, what, one neutron blaster forward facing? Let's trade power 362. Okay, sold. Retrofit the frigates, too? We might as well. Nine laser cannons forward, huh? Yeah, uh, no thank you. I grab my nuclear missiles, grab two of those. Grab a little bit of some point defense. Actually, these things don't even bother. Like, why, why bother with point defense? They're, these are throwaway ships, basically. We do fast on this? And on one set. That works. Okay, and let's see. Yeah, that looks awesome. Okay, so let's build ourselves one of these new fancy destroyers. Seven turns. That's a good investment, I think. All things considered. Okay, let's take a look at our colonies real quick. Okay, not bad. I think we're doing okay. We'll have to fix this, but... It's fine. We can get Colonial Revenue Services next turn, so... Yeah, we'll pop those in and we'll be able to balance that out before we run out of the treasury, I think. <laughs> anyway, I hope that you've enjoyed this first episode. If you have, please consider hitting that thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, I am Mal, and I will see you later.